<laughs> Who starts it off? Who kicks it off? Who talks first? Who's the host? Who's the interviewee? I don't know. Doesn't matter. We do this all the time. Welcome. Where, where are you? Another lunch with the doc. Another lunch with the doc. Are we actually, uh, are we about a year in on these, Mo? Yeah, we're about a year in. Well, we started Facebook Live for uh, the Patriots Day Parade. That's when we began. Yay! So that was the Patriots Day Parade year. is this Saturday. I will not... I would definitely be trying to get out of town. <laughs> <laughs> but if you haven't had enough Patriots Day Parade, we suggest you go because it's a heck of a lot of fun. And um, family loves it, and there's lots of businesses that you know are in the parade and everything. So it's really cool. A lot of marching bands from all over the state. Like, where are they from? Diamond Bar. You know? And they just come to get awards? They just come to dance and play some music. Just get festive. Yeah. Just have some fun. Yeah. Might as well. And then all the restaurants. What else would you rather do with your Saturday? I mean, yeah. It's all the restaurants are all festive afterwards. There's lots of people having lunch and, you know, festive cocktails and stuff like that. That seems to go along with the Patriots Day theme. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And thank you to the Patriots. Like, my second dad, Bill, he was a Patriot. 29 bombing missions over Germany. Um, I mean, you think about all the guys that gave their life for um, us to keep our freedom, you know? So that's that's really the bottom line of this whole thing. That's what we're celebrating on the Patriots Day Parade. Exactly. 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 So, you know, we had an idea today. Why don't you tell them? So, we had an idea to eat some good food, which is why we're here at Reunion Kitchen, uh, Boat Canyon, Laguna Beach. Why I actually give them a, never eaten look at it before. Look, look at her. So we decided to come here and then we also decided to give you guys a little breakdown of our logo. I thought it'd be really interesting for you guys to hear like kind of the ethos, the like, you know, the groundwork, the like bedrock of what Health and Balance is and why we treat and why we approach health the way we do. And um, so we threw up just on Facebook and Instagram the logo. You're probably familiar with it, but you threw up? Threw it up. Oh. Just boom. And um, so yeah, if you've never like thought about it, it's um, it's really unique and it's really amazing, but there's obviously a deep meaning behind it. It's not, not only does it just look good, but it, there's a lot of meaning it means behind something. the logo. It means something, and it's nice when you understand what the meaning is. Now, we're also going to be ordering lunch, and they have a really good menu here. So we should just let her know that we're ready, and uh, and we can. What are you gonna get, man? In order, you know, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do the uh, the lunch plate, and I'm gonna go with the short rib snack. Mm. I think we're ready. All right. Short rib. No, no protocol. It's really in informal and fun and silly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the uh, filet mignon stroganoff? Really good. Yeah? Okay, I'll go that. I'll do that. Do you want the fuller lunch? I'll go the lunch. Sure. And you don't have that with gluten-free noodles, do you? You didn't think so. But the short rib snack yeah. would be a gluten-free thing. Yeah, I can do it without the fried onions on top. Okay. I'll take the fried onions. Do you want the lunch? <laughs> I'll go. Okay, <laughs> yeah. all right. What do you want, Mo? Um, I am kind of deciding still. So I may need to... Come back to this. Well, you know what? Actually, I'll do the grilled artichoke. Okay. And can I do some of the Brussels sprouts too? But on the Brussels sprouts, can I just make them super plain, like no maple syrup, no bacon? Yeah. But okay. you still want like the balsamic and the vinegar? Is that okay? Yeah. Perfect. Maybe we'll have another grilled artichoke too. Two? Yeah. Do you want the first artichoke to come out first, and then your artichoke, and then your entree? Oh, would you rather do second? Brussels sprouts regularly? Look at those Brussels sprouts. We love Brussels sprouts. With the bacon and the cereal and shallots. You'd prefer that, wouldn't you? No, whatever you want. You usually just are all about Brussels sprouts, usually. To the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> and order them first? Yes. And then do you want any of your food to come out, like one and then the other? Um, just We can them. bring them all together. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We'll probably help her with her, her artichoke meat. Mm. Probably not. Okay, so 
shall we discuss it? We shall. All right. Why not? You so, know why? Why? It's kind of nice to like do the discussion before lunch. Yeah. Because you know, start chomping on. Food. You guys out there, you know, you can go back, look at the videos. You can just pause it wherever you want and just catch us making some really absurd faces oh, while we're eating. Yeah. You know, Me great and blackmail material. Oh, if you yeah. ever want to get us. Great stuff. I'm not sure why I'm telling you that, but Ooh, yeah, oops, oops. that's possible. My 93 year old mom, she reminded me. She goes, "Now, honey, I was watching you on your TV show, and I said, Mom, it's Facebook Live. She goes, it's a TV show to me. I, okay, now. she says, you know, you gotta watch your posture when you eat. You have a tendency to kind of lean down in here and go like this. I go, okay, Mom, sorry about that. I'm, I'm gonna work on that. Thanks for reminding me." I'm only 63. And, uh, How does that feel, man? It feels necessary. Hey, I'm glad someone good. does that to you. Oh yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, you still love to be corrected the by me, don't you? Oh yeah, you My love favorite, it. Love it. So good. Love it. Not yeah. so much. Yeah, it's good. There's mm -hmm. an automatic knee jerk. That's why I hang out with you all the time. Yeah. Can you please hey, just can continue? You just to correct me a little bit. Me? I, I feel like I'm slipping. I'm trying to live out the proverbs. Yeah. 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 All right, so anyhow, let's get to it. So, let's talk about this. Can you see this mo over here? Oh yeah. All right. So, this is pretty simple. Health and balance. It's kind of a good thing to have. Our health and balance. Integrative healing. Well, that's how our body works. It integrates systems, and so, you know, the. The concept here is that this is where it starts. Your body was designed to heal. Let me see here. Heal itself, keeping all systems in balance. If you think about the miracle, let's just start with a couple easy examples. If you think about the miracle of two cells coming together, one from mom, one from dad, and nine months later, out comes a masterpiece, you, right? And you think about the process of what happens, those two cells, within those two cells is a blueprint for you when they come together. But think about the nervous system gets formed and arms and legs and organs and everything. That innate intelligence that made your body is still well at work within your body, within our bodies. And it's that innate intelligence that really is so important to keep us healthy. You think about the fact then that, that um, Every healthy human body, if you're healthy, you're making two million red blood cells every second. Two million, two million, two million, and 250,000 white blood cells every second. There's over 657 functions of your liver. All happening, All happening simultaneously, simultaneously inside of you. Inside of us. So let's go back to even something simpler. You cut yourself, ow, that hurts, it bleeds. Oh, you want to see you my You compress cut? it. Did you just recently cut yourself? I burned it. Howie? Check this out, dude. Ooh, that was that? from the Sawzall blade. It was so hot, and I had put it down, and I went and just moved, and the Sawzall blade just touched me the back of it, and it seared my whole... When was that? Like, two weeks ago. Oh my god. It gets that hot when you use the Sawzall blade, I'm sure you, you know. asked me to kiss it. Kiss the hood. <laughs> he was a lot younger when that used to happen, so he doesn't show me his alleys anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he's getting a yeah. good laugh out of that. Yeah, I'm getting a good healthy. Out of that. Well, that's <laughs> belly laugh. You know, <laughs> I stay around for him to laugh at, for me to get laughed at, and for a counsel. So well, plus, plus, you have a, get a couple chuckles out of me. Oh now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a couple. So. Um, but it scab forms and then later on it falls off. That's how our body heals itself. So you think about that that process is, we're gonna call that your body's healing power. And then this, these are the four systems of our body. The structural system, which is our spine, our muscles, spine, muscles, bones, um, ribs, all of that. And then you look at our our biochemistry, which is all of our hormones, our vitamin levels, our hydration, our acid, alkaline, pH, um, our how our immune system works, white blood cell function, 
Um, just look at every organ system function is within that biochemistry, the neurological pathways that happen just for us to move our hands. That's all basically synapses of nerves and there's chemicals that actually cause nerves to actually move. Then you have over here the electromagnetic component. Well, that's the energetic, <laughs> that's the energetic systems. So the, the acupuncturists work with the energy systems. Um, we think about the energy of the body, it's, it's electric. So we're conduits of electricity that flows. The, the brain is a generator of electricity. Um, one famous guy that won a Nobel Prize, he found that studying- John Cougar Mellencamp? No, but that was actually, um, hold on. Johnny K, Coogie no, Boy. No, 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 it'll come to me, 1980. Nobel Prize winner. Jerry He'll come to me back to see you're messing with me. You're messing with my flow here. Um, anyhow, he found that the brain is a generator, generates all this electrical energy, and 90% of it is used just to keep our body in relation to gravity. I think so, his name was Jerry. Jerry something. Dr. Jerry. Uh, it's coming, but you're messing with me still. I'm totally serious because <laughs> I remember you told me about this human. Yeah. Anyhow. Um, what he found is 90% of the energy of the brain is used just to hold us in relation to gravity. It's a difference of why we're just not flat on the floor, we're sitting upright or we're walking or talking. Hmm. Only 10% has to do with healing and thinking and organ function and your metabolism and all those kind of things. That's why your body does most of its healing of the, of the body during, while you're sleeping because then you're not having to deal with gravity. 100% of that brain energy can go into healing your body. So, I have a quick aside. Electricity, yeah. Life hack, if you want to feel like you're on vacation, or just elegant and the man, just drink your water out of a wine glass. <laughs> Bam. It just, it just changes the feeling of it does. the like simple act of drinking water. I'm just like, I'm kind of red. We're right drinking now. Voss. It's good stuff. Anyway, sorry, back to your point. And then the last thing is our emotions and our feelings. You know, those play a huge part in our health. There's even a whole science called psychoneuroimmunology, which has to do with our belief systems and our feelings determine how well our immune system works. Can I, can I interrupt? Yeah. I just listened to this, one of the most fascinating talks I have. I've listened to it in a long time. A, a lot of you guys probably out there have heard of Tim Ferriss. He has a podcast, one of the most famous listen to podcasts in America. They inter interviewed this doctor named Gabor Mate, who I sent you, and it was, I mean, all of that whole conversation was about roots of addiction and, like, our process in life, our behaviors in life, and how all, a lot of it can be related to childhood trauma and wounds that we were inflicted upon as kids, and then how they, like, basically kind of, like, inform our behaviors and when you start to tap into those emotions and those wounds, like you can get better from a lot of different things. A lot of, a lot of addictions, he's saying, are really in childhood trauma. So um, yeah. it's just interesting that emotional component is. He's now saying that it's like there's a plethora of literature out there and research to support this, and it just like doesn't get taught. It just isn't really something that a lot of dog Western medicine wants to consider as like Absolutely. a real possibility. There's another good book by Bruce Lipton called The Psychology of Belief and what belief you know does and how it how it uh, it really determines a lot of times our quality of life you know dr john sarno is another guy who wrote yeah. the my body prescription is your glass half empty or half full depends on how you look at it right yeah dr john sarno healing low back pain and he goes as far he's a medical doctor who says he goes as far as saying that almost all pain is from emotions chronic and feelings pain. and chronic pain. Chronic pain. It's that that emotions and rage and anger that you're holding on to. So it's uh, it's interesting. Definitely something to consider and think about. Well, you think about an operating system, and you know, if you I, if you keep on upgrading your operating system on your phone, it's a new way. Your phone looks different. It acts different based on an operating system. Well, operating systems are built on beliefs. And so Anthony Robbins talks about this model of let's say that this is a belief this is a belief system that's your operating system and then we put we put beliefs underneath let's just say these all right 
these are the beliefs that are holding, these are the feelings that are holding this belief system up. Well, let's say that this belief system is sabotaging you from having an experience that you really want to have happen. For example, you would like to be trimmer and not carry as much extra weight. But you have a belief system that if you do look your real, very best, you're gonna get all kinds of attention from men. This is, I've heard this for over 30 years as a practitioner. A lot of women want to keep that extra weight on because they don't want all the attention of men when they're looking really hot. So, there you go. You're sabotaging it because their feelings of fear, their feeling of resentment could be based, or anger, based on things that have happened to them in the past where they're fearful of getting the wrong kind of guy coming after them and they have resentment for the last guy who treated them bad because they looked good and he was, she was attractive. So the idea is that if you want to change your operating system or belief, you have to go after the, the feelings underneath, find those, figure out what they are, do you want to keep them or not, and then knock those things down so that belief system can fall down and not be the operating system anymore. Yes. So it's pretty cool. Oh, you are joking. Ah, lovely, lovely. Oh, oh that looks gorgeous. Thank, Thank you. That. That's a lunch. Unbelievable. So tell us really quick That's how you, like a quick little, you know, how, did I come up with this thing? How, how you got to, the four, you don't have to pull out again, but well, the four system approach. Thank you. Well, uh, Wow, wow, wow. Oh, lovely. Is that Brussels sprouts? Oh, what's that? That's the... Yeah, this is Brussels sprouts Thank without you. some of the other stuff. Oh, okay, nice. Well, I think we're going to be doing pretty well. Gorgeous. Right, right. Ryan, so, can you get a photo of this lovely man? Oh, yeah. Yep, phone. Okay. There it is. Wow. I feel like the classic people who... I think we're going over budget. Yeah, I think we did. <laughs> <laughs> so. So anyhow, you know, Lisa and I wanted to become naturopathic doctors. Didn't plan on being a chiropractic doctor, but a chiropractic doctor really helped me out. And I also realized back when we graduated in in 1987 that you couldn't, or actually when we started uh, chiropractic school, it was illegal to practice naturopathic medicine in. Um, in California. So we chose the chiropractic degree to do naturopathic medicine because you could do all that as a chiropractic doctor. And now we're still working on, I'm just almost finished all my classes to get my naturopathic degree done. But the idea was, as in applied kinesiology, you basically studied all the different systems of the body. So they taught a, a triangle which was structure, chemistry, and mental. But it, what it didn't have was the acupuncture system or the energetic system. So I basically reformulated it, added in, paid respect and homage to the acupuncture system. They do have the five factors. Applied kinesiology has the five factors where uh, the energetic component was represented. But I just took it a step further. I thought it was really important to put that, that energetic component into it. So that's a four system approach. The last thing, because we're going to eat here pretty quick, we're just going to run through this right on the Brussels sprouts. Check this out. So stress in any of these systems can interfere with your body's ability to heal. So if you're stressed emotionally, if you're stressed structurally from old injuries or poor posture or arthritis or degenerative changes, um, or if you stress with allergies or hormonal imbalances or toxicity or too acidic, or even using your cell phone too much without using protection. We have protection devices that help to defray the electromagnetic stuff. Um, basically, those things rob our body's ability to heal itself. So this basically is our approach. We start to remove the stress through healthy lifestyle changes and in-office cha um, treatment, whether it's physical therapy, massage, chiropractic adjustments, postural rebuilding, whether it's um, IV nutritional therapy, nutritional therapy, fast detoxification protocols, doing neuroemotional technique to clear emotional stress, doing fun things that aren't stressful, seeing if your body, you know, the, the interesting thing is, is that 
if you're emotionally stressed, it's going to create more structural stress. So those statements like that guy's a pain in the butt or she's a pain in the neck, a lot of people carry their stress in their shoulders or their low back. So these things all affect each other. Anything can cause anything. So the idea is we take a more comprehensive approach to integrated feeling and then basically remove the roadblocks that are keeping your body from doing what it was designed to do, which is to heal you, make you healthy and happy. Sometimes people start so far down the line, it's a pretty hard go. That's why, you know, you're always going to get greater benefits if you're proactive and start relieving the stressors in these four systems a lot earlier in life than later on in life to keep your body healthy. And then the last thing is to share the good news with others. Like, if you like what we're talking about, share this, share this video with people. You know, get it out there so people aren't stuck. I want people to have hope and have encouragement that they can get better because usually people can get a lot better than they've been. You don't have to mask your symptoms with drugs and medications a lot of times. Not to say you shouldn't be on medications. If you gotta have them, you gotta have them. But a lot of times you don't need them. So there we are. That's our lunch with the doc for today. That's a good segue to our upcoming event. Yeah, let's talk about that. Why don't you, you want to, why don't you talk about that? Is it going to be too light behind her? Oh, yeah. Hi. Amazing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you see me? Kind of. Uh, so, he's talking about, you know, if you're able to do all these treatments and then finally, you know, get well without medication, not the plus and the hope. So, we're doing a medication-free living seminar in two weeks on March 14th with our nurse practitioner. So if you're kind of like tired of being dependent on medication, hoping you can find some natural solutions to some of these things so that you don't have to suffer from the side effects of medications and, and everything like that, then there's definitely solutions for you to be able to get off some of those um, drugs and be able to do things in a more natural way. So she's gonna be talking about that. Who's she's gonna, um, our nurse practitioner, What's her Michelle name? Rodriguez. So she'll be the one putting on the event. So it's March 14th at 6.30 p.m. Up in our medical suite. We'll have dinner provided. It's free to attend. So come join us. Invite friends that are interested. And um, there's going to be a lot of good stuff to learn. So hope to see you there. And I think that's a wrap for today. Sweet. Thanks for joining us. Right. You are amazing. Sweet.